All right, uh, the club and I are pleased to announce that I've signed a new five-year deal. <laughs> uh, no, um, obviously uh, um, announcing my retirement at the, uh, from the game at the end of the week, and uh, it's been a tough decision, but uh, one that I'm very comfortable with, and <laughs> and um, very comfortable with, and um, very proud of the career that I've had, especially being a one club player. Um, and uh, lo I love the club. It's been uh, a place that I've grown up since I was 17 years old and uh, to be uh, 14, 15 years uh, down the track and, um, uh, and and not moving on and staying here has been a, a, a real pleasure. So um, <clears throat> I'd like to thank uh, Herdy um, who uh, gave me every opportunity to uh, play uh, this year, even through injury and uh, to go on next year. Um, I'd like to thank you, mate, for that. I appreciate your support as a, as a player, firstly, and uh, certainly as a coach. Um, uh, the playing group absolutely loves Hurdy and um, the way he's, uh, I suppose, taking the lead of this club and getting it to where it is and where it needs to go is uh, a true, true testament to the person that you are. So uh, thank you very much, Jim. Uh, to Evo, uh, thank you for your support. We made the decision together over, uh, <clears throat> over a wine at Dr Reed's house and um, I appreciate everything you've done, not only for me but my family, mate. So thanks very much. Um, also to... Um, all the staff that are here today and uh, the coaches um, and that's everyone involved in the footy club, thank you very much. I've um, got some great relationships. Uh, you're a very important part of the club no matter if you're in the fo football department or the marketing department, um, you're very important and um, for me I feel this club in many ways is going in the right direction, um, not only on the field but off the field and everyone in this room has got to take some credit for that so thank you very much. Um, to my wife, Leanne, and uh, my little girl, Ariana, um, thank you for all your support. Uh, it's been great. Um, <clears throat> to Joe and Tanina, too, thank you for everything in your family who sponsor started sponsoring me 14 years ago, or 12 years ago, and uh, are, are most trusted friends today, so thank you. Um, Mum and Dad can't be here today, and my um, little brother, Jared, but uh, thanks very much. Um, driving me as a 17-year-old an hour and a half every day to training in Sydney and uh, then uh, making the trip down to Melbourne <coughs> drafted is, um, it's uh, pretty much I owe everything to my mum and dad, so I um, uh, love them very much and I wish they were here. Um, yeah, as I said to the boys, and I just spoke to them before, um, I couldn't, uh, <coughs> couldn't meet a bunch of better blokes. The past players and uh, the current players. Um, I'm very fortunate to leave the club with uh, probably my very best friends that are in the group today and that I've played with and that's, uh, that's something I can take away and um, I can leave this club on fantastic and great terms. I, um, not many players get to do it but um, I can leave with uh, the fact that I have uh, great friends sitting beside me who have supported me all the way and I've had the most, uh, most amazing and exciting time in my life at this club and um, I've loved every minute of it. Um, I've had more highs than I've had lows. Um, you now the low point would be Adam Ramanaskis sitting us in a room and telling us that um, he's got inoperable cancer. That was probably the toughest moment of my football career. He's ten close mates um, and obviously been to a grand final, losing one, um, been to a lot of final series and um, I just I'm very, very honoured to be able to play for this club and uh, wear the jumper for as long as I have. And uh, um, I know uh, this year uh, we've copped a fair bit in the media, but um, I can honestly say, um, and it's not just because I'm retiring, this club has got the right people in the right positions. We have the best president, we have the best coach, and we've got the best captain. And um, I think this club's going to go a long way. So um, thank you to the media for coming today. I know it's not the biggest thing, but I appreciate your time. Thank you. Um. Questions, Jeremy? Mark, did your uh, body almost make the decision for you to leave the body situation? Yeah, I'm mentally very fresh, so um, uh, yeah, just my body uh, probably gave me the signals this year that my time was up and uh, worked very hard in the off season and the pre season to get it to a stage where I could compete and I felt great going into the season. I absolutely loved the program, the training program, along with the players. We absolutely loved it and ate it up. And um, yeah, just at my age, unfortunately, uh, just uh, injuries compounded and um, it wasn't a mental, I could keep going, but it's just a body situation. Going back to your opening remarks, there wasn't a pop and play on the next year you wanted 
Yeah, James obviously said I will support you in any way. He's probably doing that more as of a friend. But um, I'm very fortunate that uh, he's been by my side for a long time and um, I'll never forget and uh, I'll be greatly indebted to him for the rest of my life for the way he's treated me over the past uh, 12 months and, of course, my career. Yeah, it's not the ideal way. I'd love to play out and play on Saturday with the boys, um, but it wasn't to be. And um, there was a young player that um, got an opportunity because I went off the list, and um, I was very happy for that to happen. So, yeah, frustrating in that regard, but happy because um, I'm comfortable with my decision now and um, I can move on. Um, my wife and I and uh, will be moving back to New South Wales, so uh, we're looking forward to... Um, getting to know our, our cousins or Ariana's cousins and um, grandparents are very excited, I must admit. Yeah, it's not a regret because I wasn't good enough to play in 2000. I, was, I definitely wasn't. Um, I was obviously uh, playing in the uh, VFL back then, but... Um, yeah, I wasn't good enough to make that side, so I did everything I could. But 2001, I, I'm proud of the way I fought in and played every game and played in the grand final. But um, I was still part of that premiership, so I know um, what it takes and what it feels like to win it. But, um, yeah, it just wasn't good enough, and I think that made me a better player in the end. James, can you talk a little bit about Mark? Yeah. And then, first of all, just Oh, Mark was a fantastic teammate. We had a lot of fun on and off the field um, as, I suppose, young men growing up. And, um, you know, the culture back, uh, back in the late 90s, early 2000s around this club was a fantastic culture. And Mark was a huge part of that, a young kid coming up and, you know, and part of Dean Solomon, um, Adam Ram Ramanaskis, the Johnsons, who really drove the senior players to be more successful by the way they, they challenged us. And it was... It was a great situation where you had old guys challenging young guys, young guys challenging old guys, and, and you know, my best friends out of my time in football have come from that era, you know, which obviously Mark was part of, and Rammer and Solly, and, and so that was a great time, and, um, and, and we played a lot of footy together, and you know, we had a little thing together, Mark, every game we played together, we actually warmed up, kicked the ball to each other, didn't we, and it was quite a, just got ourselves going, so that was um, really special, and, and coming back to coach, um, one of the the things about coming back to coach a, a footy club is you're not sure how you're going to go with your friends, uh, you know, when you're coaching friends. And um, Mark made it very easy to coach. He said, I'll play wherever you want me to play, I'll work my backside off. And, you know, we had some honest discussions about his game and the way he was going when it wasn't going the way he wanted to. But, no, it was a pleasure to coach and, and uh, one of the people that's made this football club a better place, um, both on and off the field. Yeah, well, he hasn't got any wrinkles, Hurdy, so he can thank me cause for that. So, um, ah, look, it was, uh, it, it was a measure of the person that James is. I felt terrible, obviously, uh, for an accident, but uh, he rang me a few days later when he was able to, and he said, don't worry about it. So, um, yeah, look, that, that was a sickening sickening incident that we don't like to see. Uh, on what, the I said, what I said was, don't worry about it. I've got 45 metal plates in my head. I've got, <laughs> I've got new teeth and I've had to have a facelift because of this. So yeah. Um, well, uh, it, was, it was fine, mate. It was, it was a stupid decision to run back with the ball at the time. But anyway, um, no, it was, uh, we, uh, we, we probably got stronger from that. And, um, yeah, it was one of those uh, sickening incidents that you don't like to see on a footy field. That's for sure. Um, yeah, I think just the being able to back up. I think it's well documented that every player um, struggles to get up for each game and have their own little issues. But uh, rehab's gone through the roof, and um, you know I've heard I've heard that the AFL are looking to you know two and two on the bench, and I'm so glad I'm getting out because um, that will be uh, very very hard on the players. And just to see the group, you know, I can only speak obviously about Essendon players, the way their professionalism, the way they get themselves up to be able to play every week um, and through adversity and injury play at a level that uh, is sustainable is really tough and um, yeah you can only commend the boys for what they do but it, I think just the rehab side has really picked up and being able to back up every week and train hard is, is very tough. What are you going to do with your 
Um, I've, uh, I've been very fortunate that I've been planning for quite some time and um, uh, those, what I'll be doing will come to light in the next few days, I can't really elaborate, but um, I'm very excited about the ne next chapter and um, uh, I'll, I'll be able to sort of clarify that more in the next few days, but uh, yeah, I'm very excited about the opportunities that uh, I'll be able to have and through David, um, who's helped support me um, off the field as well as on the field. Um, I'm very fortunate to have this guy in my corner. He's a great person and um, he's certainly helped a lot and gave me great advice. No, no, nah, nah, well, I obviously retired from football, but uh, no, nah, I think uh, I spoke to Sheeds yesterday and um, yeah, it has nothing to do with the GWS, but I'm so wrapped for him because um, to sign another year, he certainly deserves it. And, he, he was great for me as long and um, Mark Harvey and Robert Shaw um, are three people that I absolutely loved coaching me through that era and um, I, I love it, love when I see those ex-coaches or teammates uh, getting opportunities elsewhere and, and going really well and I'm really proud to be an Essendon person when I see that.